Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another episode. We are going to be doing another car build. Um, tune up the car. Because uh, as you know, I've recently gone onto this game. And we haven't got too much of a drift car sort of garage. So we got a Nissan, uh, Nissan S13, the yellow one. And we have got a Mazda, which you just saw there. Mazda RX-7. So on the last video, I asked you guys what um, suggestions for a car to make uh thank you very much for the suggestion sorry I, that was weird <laughs> uh thank you very much for the suggestions uh but the one i'm gonna go for is the subaru brz um thank you very much for the suggestions and also on this video if you could put suggestions for the next car build that would be brilliant um so what are we gonna go for a subaru br oh i've already got one I thought I'd have to buy one, but this is a BRZ Forza edition. I'm guessing it looks nice, to be fair. All right, we might as, well, might as well tune that, right? Saves us buying another one. So yeah, Forza edition, it looked kind of, uh, looked kind of nice. Look at it, I think it's like Rocket Bunny, isn't it? Looks kind of Rocket Bunny. Uh, I'm guessing we can't, yeah, we can't do any cosmetic sort of upgrades to it in terms of rims can you change the rims you can that's nice what dish and a low key like those ones you guys you guys know that i like dish wheels so let's have a little look see oh here we go oh they're looking fire that's fire in the booth. That is right there. We are putting them on. Okay, so that's some tires sorted. I kind of want to downgrade the rim size, but we'll leave it as it is because I can't seem to change that. Front tires, we're going to go max 285s. This Forza Edition car, what is going on? This is upgraded to the max. Uh, we're going to go 265s in the rear. Uh, compounds. I'm guessing probably sport tires. Or do I stick with the, the stock ones? I kind of want to stick with the stock because of the white um, Forza logo on them. <laughs> don't know why I kind of like that. A lot of people don't really like that, but for some reason, that's, I'm digging it. Yeah, let's go, let's go with the stock ones for now. We can, we can upgrade it if we're lacking a, a lot of grip. Uh, in terms of the transmission, we're just going to go race everything here. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the last um, build I did, the RX-7. That car turned out really nice. I was kind of using it on stream last night. Uh, thank you to everyone that came out to the stream as well. Much appreciated. Uh, if you haven't uh, followed my Twitch yet, please follow my uh, Twitch. It's below in the description. Um, I stream... Pretty random times. Uh, drift springs and dampers. Uh, pretty random times. Uh, but if you subscribe, uh, not subscribe, follow. Obviously, it will send you an email when I come online. Uh, on Twitch. So yeah, I'll do, I either do like uh, grip racing or I do drifting. It's all a bit of chill and a bit of fun. So yeah, follow me on there if you want to. So race weight reduction. This car is looking Fire. That is so nice. I kind of like the paint, but I don't at the same time. <laughs> is that a weird? It's kind of a weird uh, thing to say, really, isn't it? Like, I don't like it, but I like it. Like, because it's just so different. Race exhaust. Gonna go race cams. Should give us a lot of horsepower. Let's just go race oil on cooling. Race flywheel. So we're at 342 horsepower. So I need quite a bit more horsepower, to be honest. Obviously, it's still driftable. Tempted to go race everything here. That's 407 horsepower. That's probably more than enough. Like with 2,000 pounds in terms of weight. So yeah, I might as well just go race everything, to be honest. Like we're pretty much at the end. 
So if we could push this to like 500 horsepower. No, that's as much as it goes. So what's that? 461. Perfect. Uh, obviously you can like uh, engine swap this or whatever. But I'm happy like that. So tune car. The thing with the Subaru BRZ as well. Ignore my hair. I've literally had a bobble hat on. I was in my garden sorting out my shed. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I get so distracted. I start talking about random shit. <laughs> I'm going to go a little bit ahead. Um, higher tire pressure in the rear. But not too much because that's what I was going to say. So I get so distracted. Um, I was going to say that it's a quite a short wheelbase. So it's going to be going to be quite fairly hard to control I assume uh, but we'll try and sort that out when we start tuning the car rings I'm more than happy with ride height we're gonna go slamming levels happy with that happy with that Ooh, so there is already a kit on this isn't there so we have got downforce and things uh, we'll leave the downforce as stock for now. Completely forgot about that. So yeah, let's apply that and let's get into a test drive. As you guys know, we normally go to the track that's here. <laughs> Silverstone. Uh, it's a really good... Like, those two corners, they're perfect for, like... Um, perfect for tuning a car. They're just long, sort of... And then you've got the transition in the, the middle as well, and it's... It just works well. Yeah, we'll let this load. Just like this. <laughs> Whenever I say something, it always happens. Uh, alrighty. Okay, we're back. BLZ is looking nice. It's sounding nice. Okay. Okay. See if this downforce affects the car in any way. I don't think it should really. I don't normally go for the the downforce sort of upgrades on my drift cars. I don't really know how they behave. This car's feeling nice. That's the thing with this Forza, and the same as the guy said in the comments last episode, you can pretty much drift any car. Like in terms of tune. There's nothing you can really do, really. Like, probably just shorten, lengthen gears. And that's about it. Differential 100%, obviously, and that's about it. Like, in terms of car, you can pretty much drift any car. Like, look at this car. I've literally slapped on like a just... I didn't even change that many things. Only a little bit of camber. And you can literally drift it like this. So yeah, this car's already built. <laughs> that was a quick episode, wasn't it? Uh, we'll, we'll give this a little bit more of a session. But I, I don't feel like I need to change anything. Like, if you can drift it like any car in this game, pretty much without a tune. All I'm doing is picking up my... Making my drift garage a little bit sweeter. So we've got a Subaru BRZ in my garage now. Which is another nice car to pull out when we go into like lobbies and things. And it's performing really nice to be honest. I didn't think it would perform this good. I'm kind of digging the paint. I, it's strange. Like certain... I think when it catches a light and it brings out that sort of iridescent feel. I don't like it. But when I look at it sometimes from certain angles it does look good but if I look from like that angle I don't like it no but then you look at it oh, I don't know I'm a weirdo to be fair so <laughs> I'm okay I, I, I kind of like it I might keep it on here I never really use the iridescent paint so nice to have on it in terms of gearing as well I don't really need to change this gearing gear three seems perfect length really not too short and it's not too long it's You could maybe argue it's a little bit too short, maybe. 
be honest, I think I know what's made these cars so much easier to drift. And it is this suspension they brought in. Or the anti-roll bars, or whatever it is. Because the lock you can achieve... Look at that. Like, the lock you can achieve is just crazy. So if you do feel like you're spinning out, you can just correct it so easy. Oh, that was quite a big entry, but it's not. Is it? Look, I, I feel like I should have spun out then. I was able to correct it. Yeah, I kind of say gear 3 is a tiny bit too short, actually. Let's just go into the tune, not the assist. What am I doing? Let's just lengthen the gear in just the smallest bit. 396. See if that helps. It probably might have gone a bit too far, but we shall see. Oh, that feels better actually. That's nice. That is nice. So far, every car I've driven has drifted nice. And I just generally think it's that anti roll bar thing. Or whatever the kit is, what you can put the drift one on. It might be suspension, actually. Uh, but whatever one it is, it has definitely helped in terms of Forza and drifting cars. Nice. So yeah, I think mean, I'm going to call it there. I know it's not too much of an interesting episode. But we're just getting sideways. We've built another car for our garage. This car's looking extra fine. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Put your suggestions on what I should build next episode. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.